Understanding a Cramdown in a Chapter 13 Bankruptcy When filing for Chapter 13 Bankruptcy Protection, debtors may be eligible for what's called a cramdown for existing secured debt. Let's take a look at what this entails. Understanding the Purpose of a Chapter 13 Bankruptcy In a Chapter 13 filing, a debtor seeks protection of the court and develops a 3-5 to five year repayment plan. Therefore, debts aren't discharged or forgiven during the repayment period, but the debtor will likely have the payments reduced significantly. Understanding Secured Debt Secured debt includes loans for things like a car or a house where the property purchased acts as collateral. Unsecured debt has no collateral. Credit card balances or personal loans made to friends or family are common examples of unsecured debt. A cramdown can only be used for secured debt. What is a cramdown? A cramdown allows a debtor to reduce the amount of their outstanding secured loans to the value of the property or collateral secured. For example, if you have a car worth $7,000 but the outstanding balance on the loan you took out to buy it is $10,000, you may be eligible for a cramdown to reduce the amount you have to repay to $7,000. The huge advantage to a cramdown is allowing the debtor to pay less interest and reduce their monthly payments. Are there any restrictions on a cramdown? Yes. Again, cramdowns are not allowed for unsecured loans. Also, restrictions apply for certain types of loans. For example, you may not take a cram down for a principal residence, the home where you live. For car loans, the car must have been purchased at least 910 days prior to filing bankruptcy. For household goods, the property must have been purchased at least one year before the bankruptcy. For more help understanding which type of bankruptcy is right for you, contact an attorney for advice.